Qatar is not a big place. Top to bottom, give or take, it's 185 kilometres, with only a handful of cities outside of Doha. But that, in theory, will be a big advantage come World Cup time. So let's go for a quick fly around the country. Starting at the northernmost venue, it's just outside the city of Al Khor, Al Bait Stadium, designed to look like a giant Arabian tent. On November 18, it'll host the opening match of Qatar 2022, making quite the statement for the first World Cup to be held in the Arab world. From there, it's 30 kilometres down the road, quite literally, to Lusail Stadium. This is the biggest venue, the 80,000-seater, which will host the final. Not complete just yet, but getting pretty close. Now, we're not actually into Doha proper yet. Lusail is still north of the capital. And similarly, the Ahmed bin Ali Stadium is as far west as you'll go in this tournament. Absolute city limits here, but still accessible by train and with a giant shopping mall right next door. Now, we start getting into Doha itself. This is Education City Stadium within the confines of, as the name suggests, Education City. This is where a lot of uh, international universities have their satellite campuses. Khalifa International Stadium, the only existing stadium for this World Cup. This was the uh, main venue of the 2006 Asian Games, which was one of Qatar's first big international sporting events. It's since had a big upgrade. Then, right over to the water's edge for easily the most unique venue. We're up to six now. This is Stadium 974. 974 because that's Qatar's international calling code, but also because 974 shipping containers were used in its construction. Entirely temporary. It'll be dismantled post-World Cup. Al Thamama Stadium just recently opened, and like Al Bait, it has the local touch. Um, Al Thamama is actually designed to look like a traditional kafia. That's the woven cap worn by a lot of men and boys in this region. And finally, Al Janoub Stadium in the city of Al Wakra. This is as far south as you'll go, but that's still only around 20 kilometers from Doha CBD. It's a unique design from the late Iraqi architect Zaha Hadid. So, from Al Janoub in the south to Al Bait in the north, there is only some 70 odd kilometers separating the two most remote venues. Certainly a big change from the last two World Cups held in Russia and Brazil.